should be a quick one today. Basically, I just want to talk about how I got Uzi to put All Alone on the album. Um, for y'all who don't know, Pink Tape Drop, All Alone is on the album. That's why I make this video. Uh, so basically, I first heard this song like two years ago, maybe like 2020 era, 2021 era, 2021 era probably. I think he was on like Rolling Loud, he previewed it. And someone took the preview and put it in like a HQR or CDQ or whatever he put it in on YouTube. I heard it out rolling loud while I was watching like the live stream because I'm an Uzi fan. And uh, I was listening to the, the, the new like live stream or whatever, the updated song on YouTube. And I was literally telling myself like, this is a crazy song. Like this song is amazing. And I know a lot of y'all know when it comes to Uzi or Travis or Cardi, artists like that, they will make the world's greatest song that could potentially, you know, literally a, a piece, a world peace level song, they will make that and then just never drop it. And so in my head, I'm like, yo, bro, like, this is not gonna work. Like, I'm gonna need Uzi to drop all alone. And again, this is like 2020. This is like two years, two years ago. Like, we had no idea when Pink Tape was coming out. He was like just previewing Pink Tape. He had scrapped Forever Young and he was talking about like, oh, like today we're gonna make Pink Tape or whatever and just forget Forever Young, plays all alone. And I remember sending that to my friend's group chat and I remember being like, this is hard. Like, this is a crazy song. And I knew it was crazy and I didn't want Uzi to be one of those artists that has a crazy song and just doesn't put it on the album. So anyway, fast forward a bit, all the Pink Tape hype's coming up. And I don't know what it is with me and traveling whenever Uzi drops, but when EA dropped, I was in Costa Rica. Pink Tape dropped, I was in Dallas, right? But when he announced Pink Tape, I was in Switzerland. So, and I'm not native to any of those any of those cities or countries. And so I was in Switzerland and he's starting posting like the, you know, the picture of the, the artwork for the album that everyone thought was the album cover, but it wasn't. It was just like inspiration for the album. He posts that, you know how Uzi gets when he's about to drop. He just starts posting like a bunch of stuff. And so I'm like, okay, it's kind of getting serious. Like it's kind of catching my attention. And all of a sudden I realized that he's about to go on Instagram live. And if there's one thing about me, I have to be that dude who's on the Uzi Instagram live. And again, I'm a Uzi sexual. Like I have to be on the live while Uzi's talking and I have to be recording it. And I have to be constantly asking questions and the questions that get answered, I have recorded, right? And it never happens. Like never i never get a question answered it's happened twice in my life once on tiktok and once the story i'm telling right now okay and when i tell you bro uzi was talking about like whatever he was talking about just like some random stuff not even about the album he was just talking about like how he ate at like some crazy restaurant or he ate at some like sushi place and then he was talking about like the anime he was watching or doing like a bunch of fruity like zesty little vibes or whatever and i swear bro he wasn't talking anything about the album and i type in the chat and i go all alone on album question mark and everyone else is just replying some like bum like some trash comments like that he's not going to listen to and i just go like all alone on album question mark and there's silence and i'm just watching it recording it and he goes then he starts talking about the album and i'm like okay he totally just realized that i just like talked to him and like and like called him out and then he's so he's like um he's reading the comments and he's like basically says like, look, I already told y'all, like there was that one song that was gonna be on the album that I played. And he goes like, I had to put it on the album because it was too cray. Like that was, it was so cray, like this shit cray, this shit cray, whatever. And now, now we know that that's times two, right? The Ken song. And literally right after I typed like, oh, you mean the one that Ken produced or whatever. I typed it anyway, moral of the story. And that was all he said. He was basically just like, you know, uh, I already told y'all, like, he's read my comment, and he's like, I already told y'all what's gonna be on the album, like, that's it, like, I don't, like, it's just the one that I said was so cray, and I played it before, but in my mind, I'm like, yeah, okay, you said you played that, and it's gonna be on the album, but he didn't really say anything about All Alone, and so that got me thinking that All Alone could potentially be on the album, Pluto to Mars could potentially be on the album, but I wanted, of course, and I wanted Zoom, because previously he had said, that the album was going to be 22 to 23 songs long and he said there's gonna be a couple bonus tracks and i'm thinking like of course definitely a bonus track pluto to mars probably a bonus track right it wasn't at the time i thought it was and so i was totally thinking like okay we've got all alone and then we've got like pluto to mars and then we've got of course as the bonus tracks which didn't happen to be like that whatever but in my mind basically i was kind of reaffirming kind of like telling uzi like yo bro like 
Like, All Alone's got to be on this album, bro. Like, if the, All Alone's not on this album, like, you're going to take a massive L. And some would argue that you still took a massive L. I, I don't think you took an L, but a lot of people saying you took an L. Point of the story is that I basically, whether you want to call it, like, right place, right time, or, like, you know, just 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 something on a, a connection simultaneous to, to, to a wavelength connection, okay? I think something happened when I sent him that Instagram uh, comment because straight up like bro really just must have read it must have switched his tone his conversation and bro must have really just like decided to put all alone on the album and i'm not saying all alone's the best song on the album i'm not saying it's the worst song on the album i'm just saying that the fact that it is on the album and is not a bonus track and the fact that pluto to mars made it and is not a bonus track and the fact that we got 26 songs with the three bonus tracks is crazy and um, I am just super freaking glad that we saw tracks like Zoom, of course, um, All Alone. Bro, what is this thing? It's like dead skin, my bad. But like All Alone, of course. I'm so glad that we see tracks like that on this album. Because I, I, w I would not have been able to function if Pink Tape dropped and we didn't have those grails. Okay. And also to all your people saying that like you want old Uzi back and you, you know, you miss the old Uzi, bro. Listen to All Alone, Pluto to Mars, like, bro, there's hints of old Uzi everywhere across the album. You don't got to hit on it because there's three rock songs, whatever. I'll talk about that in a different video, though. But yeah, anyway, so that, I just want to keep it short. That's basically what I want to talk about today. I am the reason why All Alone is on the album. So y'all are welcome for that. Uh, y'all can, you know, comment, reply, uh, any other stories you want from me. And uh, yeah, here's the proof right here. It should be a pretty short one. So thank you all for watching, man, and peace out. I'm excited. I played one song off the album on live. I told y'all the other day. Even though it was on the album until I realized, like, when I was sitting there, I'm like, damn, this shit go cray. Damn, this shit go cray. Damn, this shit go bray. And I'm like, yo, this shit really go bray. Uh, excuse me.